Anyway, I'm working on a horse painting. It's a wild horse painting, and I've drawn these stick figure horses, and I'm trying to add the texture paste that I talked about in the previous um, video I was doing. So what I've get done, I don't know if you can see, but I've gone in where I have put the drawing and used the texture medium in here. Um, just using this bottle to outline with it and it's working really well actually so just to show you I will take the lid off and I'll do an outline on this one sorry for the shadow but here we go with this one just to show that it's really easy to use and when it's done it should give me a raised outline but I'll tune back in to show you after I add paint. I'm just showing you that I did go and outline all of these but didn't really raise up as much as I thought. It may still um, may still resist the paint but I just thought I'd show you how it turned out. Once again I'm in experimentation mode. I can see the raised sections of the horses coming through. I don't know if you can see it, but it's showing a little bit. So I'm just going to play around with this and thin it down a little bit more and see what I got. This is um, actually interesting. I added some water to this and you can see the outlines of the horses are starting to show. Uh, so it does act as a resist. Uh, the mixture I made was with acrylic paint and matte medium and I added a little bit of white to uh, Hunter's Green and I um, can't remember which blue I used but a little bit of blue to give it more of a blue cast. So this is working though it's um, going to be interesting to see what happens with this. So I don't know if you can see this but you can see the horses but I feel like it's needs to be lightened so I'm going to go in and try to sponge off with a rag and I'm not sure what that will do but we'll see what happens. Thought I'd show you that thought I'd show you this that um, I've worked with this I, I'm using uh, I did dab off a lot with the brush I don't know if you can see uh, not a brush but a cotton rag and it's the canvas is still wet but I went in with some highly diluted alcohol ink that was a pink um, it's alcohol ink I made myself so it's more alcohol than ink and I sprayed the horses uh, trying to keep everything within the lines with this and then I thought well I'll play around with it a little more to get it into the legs so I started using a cotton q-tip and as I'm going in with this, it actually is taking out some of the green, which I love. And so, I don't know if you can see this, but it's uh, actually making it uh, more pliable, I guess. Not pliable, but uh, where I can actually take off and add color with this. So I think I'm going to play with this a little bit more. I like the look of this. Uh, it's got a tapestry sort of caveman thing going on here but I really like what it's doing and it's taking off and allowing me to stain the canvas with this alcohol ink so it's starting to get an interesting look to it the background where the horses are seemed a little bland so I went in with a turquoise permanent marker which I happen to have and I made a lot of little lines but I don't really like that so I'm going in now with basically um, permanent markers or alcohol ink so alcohol ink blender will work on that and I am using a q-tip to go in with the blender and just do a little blending um, to soften those lines 
Uh, I think it's going to add a little bit more to this, so I think I like it. But I may still lighten the horses somehow if I can figure out how to do that. Don't know if you see the difference, but at the top of this painting up here, there was some fabric. I was experimenting with adding fabric and texture, but I hated the fabric. So I tore it off and it left a texture. Um, it actually left a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, but that's a little piece of the fabric. So I liked the texture that it left, and I started playing around with shadow. I kind of wanted this to look a little bit like a canyon, which is what I was going for. And so I went in and did some additional paints, but it left some beautiful lines and stuff from where it was Mod Podged on. And then I'm not happy with the lower part of this painting. It's, I don't know. First of all, the horses are too far down, but there's not a lot I can do right now. But I'm thinking I'm going to go in and take some of this fabric here off and uh, make that. It's just very intrusive. It feels like it overshadows everything and it doesn't work. So I'm going to test, see if I can take that off and try to do a fix. Don't know if it'll work or not. This thing keeps evolving, so I'm done. I really am done this time. I went back in with some uh, texture paste in the bottle, the mixture that I've used in the past, and it's a texture paste in the mix. Uh, sorry, matte medium. And then I just felt like the horses were way too soft in color. So I went back in with some alcohol ink and blender um, and gave them more color and then I had already outlined them and I decided to go back in and outline them again. So you can kind of see the final results of this and um, it's just been an experiment in the making. I think anytime you experiment you're never sure if you're fully happy. Um, but I like it better than I originally did, and I learned a lot in the process. So there it is, Wild Horses of Many Colors.